The dangerous Tyree Kill finds an opening. Tyree Kill to the outside. Hill, blazing speed. Tyree Kill electrifying. 91 yards for the touchdown. It's your punt return game. You've been at or near the top of the league in that category. Starts off with number 10. Uh, just having him lined up back there really creates threats, you know, to, to the, uh, the opponent. They don't want to punt to him. Back deep is Tyreek Hill for Kansas City. Uh, you know, when he does get the ball, he's, you know, he's, he's going to take it to the house, and, and they don't want to kick it to him. They kick it out of bounds. We get field position. So it, it helps us either way. It helps our offense. As far as the injuries go, um, DeAnthony uh, looks like he, he fractured his leg. See somebody, like, plugging in or just working around some of the plays that he's been a part of? Yeah, we've got other guys that will step in and, and, and pick up the, the slack there. So we'll, we'll be... Be okay. Draymond Smith. Look out. Oh, good run back. Smith Look staying out. in bounds. And Traymond Smith is going to take this one all the way inside the five yard line. When the injuries start to mount, pressure really goes to you. What about your guys overall and how they've reacted to roles? They really do a good job because they pay attention to meetings, guys that are in backup roles, and, and all of a sudden they get thrust into a situation where they have to play. You know, like we had last week. I'm just really pleased with the way they're performing. They're students of the game, they're ready to go. You know, it's a credit to our guys, you know, that they, they pay attention to meetings and they're ready to go. Chiefs need all three of these. And Butker's kick is up and it is good. He got it just inside the near upright. Ask you about Harrison Butker. Consistent, he's been at or near the top on touchbacks. What about his year so far? Having a great year. Uh, he's doing everything we ask him to do. You know, he can kick touchbacks at will. He can kick them high and short when we want to try to test our coverage. And he's making all his field goals and he's making all his extra points. And Butker's kick, high, spinner, good. And Butker stays perfect. At this point in the season, you know, there's, there's, a, there's just a handful of guys that are left that are still 100%. And we're happy that Butker is one of those. Dean Colquitt punts it away, and it is a beauty. 62-yard punt by Colquitt, a net of 58. And I want to ask you about uh, Colquitt. Top five in gross and net in the league after a third of the season. Solid year. You know, <laughs> give credit to our offense. I mean, we're not punting a lot. So, I mean, that, that helps too. But when he does get in there, he's, he's performing. He's, he's, he's hanging the ball up for us so we can, our gunners can get down there. Uh, he's kicking it directionally out of bounds when we need that. And his numbers are unbelievable. I think these are the best of numbers he's ever had in his whole career. So far, the challenge of playing Cincinnati. Um, you know, you're going to get a tough team coming in here that's uh, well coached. And uh, so our guys are going to go through the process of getting ready to play against a good football team. Uh, look forward to playing here at Arrowhead on a Sunday night. Now this game Sunday night was flexed. How does that affect you and how you prepare and preparing your guys? Yeah, it's different. I mean, this is the first time in my 18 year career that we had two Sunday night games. It's, it's an excitement though too. The guys are excited about playing on Sunday. So it's, it's, it brings a totally different atmosphere to everything. And our crowd's gonna be great.